why am I not making a vlog again? I don't know. Welcome guys. I am in Berlin. And I'm in Berlin for um Tech Crunch. Disrupt Berlin. I'm on this event as a volunteer. We got shifts. So I have three shifts of six hours which I have to do to work to get in for free. Going there now, gonna keep you updated. volunteer ticket all you see here all these rows are startups it's the startup alley these are 150 startups from basically all over the world startup on startup on startup these people in green are volunteers I'm gonna have a shift tomorrow today is the second day of the TechCrunch disrupt the last day actually it's about 6 a.m. right now just got my coffee because I now as a volunteer have my shift from 6.15 to I think 12 p.m. So six hours of work is my second shift um, which you gotta do to get in. Getting there now, don't know what I'm gonna do. Yo bro, what do you say about the hard work we gotta do? It's too much man, I have to drink coffee, I have to eat breakfast and cheese, high gluten diet. It's too much man, it's, it's too True, much. Yeah, I man. need two tickets I mean, for that. Two tickets, we need another one also need for another. next year. It's too much man, it's not cool. I mean like, how long have we been here now? Like 30 minutes, one hour? And all yeah, we've been I mean is you eating? like 30 minutes, I like yeah. one hour. Yeah. I like... So much to do, I mean... I'm just like standing here, asking for work. It's so I mean, it's exhausting work. what we're gonna do. More startups, more startups. Got the pedal to the metal, Carmelo in the fourth. When the buzzer go off, hit the three, show off. Unfortunate event, shout out to Count Olaf. When the mini This is crunch match, so if you're a startup, you can get an um, appointment with an investor, you have a pitch, and then maybe they invest in you. There's the Manoia stand. Yeah, I love to hate cause it makes me go harder than All the fucking groups who wouldn't let me be a part of them Now I got the troops and we moving like the army did Dropped out of school, had to give up on the party And now it's full speed, that's up on the road Got the pedal to the metal, Carmelo in the fourth When the buzzer go off This black thing, there are workshops, Google workshops I told them guys, look, look at the potential of this Ethereum coin So in, in terms of an investment, I wouldn't know what would be better, Bitcoin or Ethereum. I personally hold 50-50. But in terms of importance for the industry, I think that Ether is up there, meaning uh, uh, the potential and the number of people that come in for side, side events, right? Side stages is amazing because of all of the potential that is into the Ethereum ecosystem. Hey guys, I'm here with... Gavita. Okay, and what do you do, Gavita? Uh, I run Convince Consensus Ventures. We invest in early stage companies and blockchain, Ethereum blockchain system. Okay, so you are a lot in the crypto world. What do you say to people like who have maybe heard about it, maybe know the word Bitcoin, but don't really know what it is? Like, what would you tell them? So, Bitcoin, Ethers, these are the currencies which is going to be what your kids are going to ask on the birthdays, uh -huh. and that's what you need to have. Okay, so what do you think, like, all this stuff, blockchain, cryptocurrency, will get as big like the internet now. So should people better get on it now, sooner than later? Or is I it just too far away for... I think you're going to get applications and by the time you're going to start using those applications, you won't even realize that you're using blockchain. But you will be getting all the benefits, which is transparency, scalability, sourceability, traceability. You will have control of your own data. Today when you go to Facebook, Snapchat, you have no idea where you're leaving your data, who's monetizing your data, but then you will have the skin in the game and using those blockchain applications, you will be actually getting monetized back. So would you tell everyone to invest now or only? I can't officially advise what to invest yeah. now, but Ether is a long-term play. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. This thing, the startup battlefield, I actually don't know yet what it is. These are all just working spaces where people can, I don't know, check their emails or whatever. And then big black box again is the main stage. 
um, where there are talks, fireside chats, um, panel discussions. Seems like there's nothing really going on right now on this stage, but there are other blockchain technology uh, blockchains appearing, like Neo, for instance, in China. Do you think uh, Ethereum is here to stay, or do you think that? Uh, that uh, around the corner there might be something better. I think in the end the best technology will win and, and I mean we're gonna see who can who can pull this off but um, I'm really excited to, to just see this whole space growing. That's a very diplomatic answer. <laughs> hey guys this is Celica you are the event manager for the whole thing right? Yes. Like the whole thing like all you see here not just the hackathon and TechCrunch if you don't know they are from the US and you organize all of the disrupt events or only this one in Germany? Uh, all the disrupts, yes. Okay, and the last one was in San Francisco? Correct. Awesome, so what do you say about Germany? I love it, it's you so love much it. fun. Okay, so the event is just about over. Woo! People deconstructing all over the place. There's still one talk going on and then there will be the closing ceremony. I think the most interesting part of this event were the startups. What do you say? The startups, some talks. Which talk? The like, machine learning talk by Google. I didn't yeah, see but, that. But I think we were together, man. The AI talk. Oh, the AI talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. And I think yeah, the startups. Which other talks did you see? The, the best only one, the AI one. I also watched the um, one about cryptocurrency yesterday. I think that was actually very interesting. It was also by far the most crowded one, I feel like. Um, besides that, the, I feel so, like... I think it's like, an above average event, right? How many months would you give out of 10? Out of 10? To the whole set event. Seven. Seven, yeah, I think seven is fair. Seven is a nice number. I also feel like the, the talks on the main stage aren't too interesting. Oh, they're too specific, but I don't know. I think it depends on your interest. Yeah. If you're interested in the topic, then it might be very interesting to you. Yeah. But I mean like, for you, because you are about to graduate machine learning, startups. Like, you could like go to all these startups and talk to them, and you collected quite a few of contacts. Because you're looking actually for a job in that space. Okay. For me, it's kind of different because I don't have anything going on. So I don't know. For me, it wasn't that valuable. I think if you're looking for a job or something like that, or if you're a startup looking for funding, this is a very good place. But besides that, people in the back chilling. Anything else you want to say? Last wow. words, final words. Final words, great event, learned great a lot. Event. Probably get, probably will get a job from this event. So I think oh, it was yeah. a success, man. Message that I preach. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's peace.